Visita digisani.com y consigue tus monedas para FIFA Ultimate Team. Sitio de venta 100% confiable con delivery inmediato. Código de descuento SEBA para un 5% off. Um, so yeah, was that a new training game as well? Yes, so here we, what we have as, uh, as well, the first thing that you see is Gladbach Stadium, so that's new into FIFA, we have nine stadiums, nine new stadiums this year, uh, but the other thing is the Bundesliga overlay graphics. Okay, yeah, uh, so it's authentic like the Premier League, it's which you already had. Yeah, exactly, so last year we did the Premier League, we got fantastic feedback out of that, and this year so we, we managed to uh, create the Bundesliga graphics, that really puts you... Yeah, the uh, Premier League stuff is so good. It just gives yeah. you that... You it, can't it's it's an ultimate sometimes. immersion. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's not just about the graphics. So there are tons of different details uh, here. And they are, uh, for example, chants. So, you know, uh, there is nothing as immersive as here in the crowds, so like a super loud. And this year we added more than 900 chants like, uh, from teams all over the world. It really feels impressive. Like how do you add them? Do you actually record them at stadiums? Or uh, do you so like there, there are specific uh, requirements on how we capture uh, the, the crowd. So we need to capture different channels, etc. So we work in general with the broadcasters uh, to get the, the audio. And, and then it's a licensing thing. So you need to uh, identify uh, that is like a profanity free, you know, th those kind of things, and, and so license the melody. Uh, so it so obviously that gets rid about 90% of all football chants immediately. Uh, well, <laughs> not really. They can be edited as well. Uh, but it's it's a really awesome thing. Like I hear the chants and, and at the right moments because we, we do that. So uh, good chance they play when you're playing well. Oh, that was it. That was quite good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so he's going to celebrate. No, he didn't reach the camera because we have new celebrations as well. Uh, and some of those, so when you can run directly to the cameraman that they're having the handy cam yeah. around there and uh, you do stuff for the camera yeah. and you see that or you can go and celebrate with the subs uh, but we can talk a little bit more about like gameplay, general gameplay. Yeah, is there anything like in FIFA 15 that you kind of wanted to address going into 16? Yeah, the, the main piece of feedback that we got was that uh, when playing online uh, players like Cristiano Ronaldo and Bale, uh, like super speedy wingers, uh, they were extremely difficult to stop. Yeah. And uh, we took that to heart, and, and this year one of the key words for us was balance. You know, we really, truly wanted to have a game that felt balanced all over the pitch, uh, but it not only balanced all over the pitch, it was innovating all over the pitch. So. Uh, what we have what we call confidence in defense. A lot of work went into defense with defending agility that is adding a lot of uh, animations and, and uh, uh, improvements and polishing here and there to actually counter uh, those situations of Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo. So you're giving people when they're defending more tools to kind of combat that because you, they can like do last like second tackles. Exactly. Well. So we have a new uh, tackling mechanic. So when you slide tackle, so when you're on the ground, you can press it again and the player will uh, get up. Yeah. Uh, so it really brings slide tackle to become useful again. Yeah. In a sense, it was a uh, hit or miss. So people stopped using it a bit because it, it was too harsh the punishment for missing yeah. it. Uh, so, but now with this extra opportunity, in a sense, uh, you, you want to use it again. But it's not just about that. The players are much more intelligent uh, right. in terms of uh, deciding or, or realizing when there is going to be a ball position change so they come back faster to position uh, they are much smarter into deciding to mark space of the man uh, and in terms of the midfield uh, and defending as well they are much more aggressive for what is uh, the interception intelligence what we call so they are really really covering those passing lanes so the game is no longer uh, so the midfield is no longer a transit mm. zone, but it's really battle for possession again. Yeah, because I've played the game a few times, and you find that when the ball zips through midfield, like you'll find a midfielder will stick out a leg, as mm. they would do. Yeah. They don't just let it go by them. Yeah, it's true, true to real life, and uh, really wanted to bring that value for possession back. 
Uh, but what that allows as well, so defending became so powerful that it allowed us to innovate into the attack. Mm. Uh, so one of those is passing with purpose, uh, that is to counter those interceptions. So it's a new type of pass that is uh, a long pass, very strong, that is, okay, I want to send it to this particular guy, uh, but the guy, that guy, the pass receiver, needs to be in a good position because otherwise that first touch is, is, is not that good, so it has a lot of error. Uh, it really brings a lot of uh, all, all of the pieces together to make it really balanced. Is that a modifier to a regular pass? Is that a modifier? Pass? It is uh, on two or right back. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yes, it's, it's when you pass it, they, they are doing it right now, so you see how strong it is. And uh, it really feels awesome. But Can you do that on a through ball as well? Or is it just no, it's, ju it's just with, with the, the with normal pass. ground pass. But in addition to that, in, into the attack, uh, it's about creating more moments of magic. I think we're going to see another feature now that is, if it wasn't a penalty, the vanishing spray. <laughs> Th this is used in this became so famous at the now. Cup. Yes. <laughs> so okay, we don't have it in the scene there, but you can see the referee walking yeah. to the wall and just doing that. So these little touches have really make the game much more authentic and immersive. It, it, they are fantastic. And as I was mentioning, like uh, in the attack, the other fantastic thing that we did, the other innovation, is what we call no-touch dribbling. So we, we got inspired in Messi. So Leo Messi is a player that when he dribbles, uh, one of the things that he does particularly well is without touching the ball, just moving his body, the doing body fainting, uh, to leave players behind. And uh, we took note of that, and, and we watch a lot of football in, in the office. So we are from all over the world, and uh, we watch every single league that you can imagine. And uh, we wrote down like, uh, okay, so let's watch League League Two, League One in, in you know in England, Argentina First Division is what I watch. Um, and we were we were really noting, okay, everyone, every player, regardless of how good they are mm. uh, they do it so they, they do that kind of uh, no touch dribble is how we call it and uh, so Messi Neymar they do it all the time in a brilliant way uh, but you go to a league two game and you will see somebody doing it and we say okay we need to do this we need to do this into the game and with a modifier when you're dribbling as well you do this no touch let's see if, if the guys can get it while playing it's particularly effective when, when sprinting, but it has multiple layers, so you see how he was moving uh, the body a bit. Uh, you need to, to do it like in, in precise moments. Yeah. So for well, I've played it a few times, and you kind of, it allows you to like body swerve and kind of fake people out as yeah. well, if you want to use it at a very high level. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it, it has a lot of different layers, so it, it will take some time to master, uh, but it really feels fantastic when you leave players behind with that. So overall, so innovation, all over the pitch is what we say that that because really it does how we feel it it's a really truly balanced game uh, we're very very happy of the state of it uh, we also did uh, a lot of different uh, improvements mm -hmm. in the goalkeepers you know there was another area of, of feedback that we got last year uh, we were very proud of what we did last year you did a lot writing. of work on goalkeepers yes it was free riding the goalkeeper uh, that is not easy thing so the goalkeeper makes a mistake and, and you're done uh, but very proud of what we did, so it, it allows us now to really go deeper with it. Uh, so any, we did a, a huge swipe of, so like videos on, on that the community was sending us to just go every single issue, getting our better QA team, reproducing in our test bed, and just improving and fixing and polishing the hell out of all. So it's quite hard in the new game, as I understand it, to like kind of um, trick keepers. Like if they're backtracking to their line, the ball might not go over their head. They can tip it while running back. Yeah, we didn't have enough coverage of animation in those situations. That, that's what, what we found out after reproducing all the issues over and over. And uh, so we, we went into the motion capture studio and captured more and more and more. Uh, and all of those are, are now there. So it's, it's really good. It feels fantastic again. Uh, I encourage everyone to try it out, so if you're here at Gamescom, uh, so you can do it in, in the EA booth on the show floor, so you can try both draft and, and uh, uh, normal uh, kickoff, normal gameplay, uh, but it's fantastic. And, and outside this, so we were talking just a piece of this, so we're introducing other new ways to play, like uh, women's football. Mm. Uh, so we have 12 national team, 
uh, it's fantastic after the, the World Cup as well. Uh, there was, you know, all the people watching that and, and really seeing, realizing that, that women's football it's part of football as well. Yeah, it was great because that was the announcement that actually led the announcement of FIFA 16 was the 12 women's mm -hmm. teams. It's interesting with that. Is, is the gameplay different in any way for the... It is. Yeah, so it what, is. What so are those kind of differences? So I, I tell you primarily a thing. So yeah, sports FIFA is a celebration of the world of football. It's a celebration of football and football is worldwide. Women's football is part of that, of that and that's why it must be there as well. But the amount of things that, that, that we did for, for doing it well, because that's how we like doing things, and what, that's our aim is always doing it uh, <coughs> as perfect as we can. Uh, so what we did is we have audio, like uh, the crowd, that we recorded specific women's matches to, to capture the, the crowd audio and put that into the mm -hmm. game. Player calls, uh, just the localization of the game. So English is, is primarily neutral so the player it, it works both for for women and men but if you check portuguese spanish french it's gender specific right, so you okay. have in, in spanish so i'm spanish native speaker it's of el yeah. for, for a man and la jugadora for 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 females so a lot of effort into localization wise imagine that we have a legacy of how many years of commentary yeah, yeah. that was almost 40% recording, 40% of all the, the assets again, just to be female specific. Uh, so we have in English as well, like she shoots, she passes, uh, those kind of things. And uh, like a commentary about talking players like Abby Wambach, and like a really banter uh, about the stuff. So that's just audio and localization. But then gameplay, the big discussion was our attributes. Mm. And the attributes we decided, okay, women are just comparable with women so we are not going to do a 94 Messi comparable to a 93 Alex Morgan and ba based on that so we went through every single component that we have on our gameplay systems and so we we use the necessary modifiers so gameplay feels authentic to women football as well uh, like that so women's football you have much more space it's less physical uh, and in general so players tend to shoot high the ball because keepers are not as tall so all those little nuances, uh, if you try it out, you will feel you will feel it different. You will feel uh, okay. It's much more authentic to women's football. And the character models are different as well. They're very specific. They're oh, yeah. not modeled on the anatomy of women. It's rather than just like you know changing the heads on them. So. No, absolutely. So we 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 replay. So we we recreated a new player rig. Uh, so we have new body scanning technology. We optimize the rendering so we could do. Uh, physics on the ponytails because most of the players, female players, use ponytails. Yeah. So we have physics for each ponytail, <laughs> uh, it, which is it's fantastic, you know. And, and then we we also s like a capture the likeness <coughs> of, of most of, of the players. Uh, it's it's a really a true representation of, of women's football, and uh, I'm really proud of it. And the other big feature that I want to mention is a trainer. Uh, so we like people to, to get into the game, uh, to learn the game faster, and even experience people to learn new ways of, of how to so perform the game. There is, you get it, it's a trainer. Okay, the game we saw it a bit earlier as well. It's kind of an overlay that shows you in that moment what your options are as a player. It, it, it's showing you some of the options because FIFA has more than 70 yeah. different uh, controls. Like